On the Compass Clino page, uh, when you first open it, it displays a, a bearing compass. To set a bearing, we can just tap on the compass face. And as you rotate the phone, you'll see a, a red zone that's showing you the deviation from the, the bearing that is set. By tapping on the small clinometer face, you can activate taking structural readings. To take a reading, you can either place the back of the phone on the, the rock, so that's taking dip and strike. To lock the reading, you tap the clinometer face and you can press save. If we want to take a lineation, we can just go into the data type and choose from lineation or slick and slide, for instance. And then to take that reading, we place the edge of the phone on the rock. And to lock the reading, you just tap the face and then you can press save. When you're, ever you're taking structural data, it's always recorded in the notebook page. Uh, from the notebook page, you can also take georeference photographs and write notes. You can filter that data um, by the different data types, so by notes, data or lines. The map's going to display the data we're collecting. We can also show base maps in the map view and in the iPhone version we can also draw on the map. When we're drawing, we can choose from the rock units that are defined on the Compass Clino page. We can also choose the line style, so solid, dotted or dashed. And by long tapping, we can actually use the slide bar to set the transparency. We then have the option of whether we're drawing a line or doing a, a polygon. Localities on the phone are set automatically using the GPS. We can add new localities. And if we want to, we can overwrite the locality manually. To do that, we long tap on the map and it'll be shown by the red pin. Once we've collected data points, once we've collected data points, we can also edit the location that data was recorded at. So if we go into the information page, we can just press on move data. And again, we can long tap on the map to set the location manually.